It's got a little bit of that crazy mail in it, but it's worth it. Hey guys, this is my review of Hacksaw Ridge. I meant to review this a while ago, but I actually saw it for a second time with a friend who I haven't seen in a while. And I admit it's really good. It's very well made. This is one of the best war films I've seen since films like Black Hawk Down, Saving Private Ryan. It basically summarized all of the shitty parts of the Pacific series into one hour segment. Because that's what this film is. There's two parts. The first part is about Desmond Dawes, a conscientious objector who goes into the military willingly, but he doesn't want to carry a rifle. And the entire first half of the film is about him falling in love with his girlfriend, him coming to the ideal of why he should not have be violent, and what he goes through with the military about and how he gets into the medical corps despite being court-martialed, and sticking to his beliefs. And that's possibly one of the most endearing parts about this character of Desmond Dawes, is how it's not stubbornness that's keeping into his ideals, it's the literal feeling of what he believes is right. And some people may think that's a bit odd, and he even admits that it's not the right idea for most, but that's what he believes in, and he shouldn't be forced to. And in the end, he goes to Okinawa. And the first half of the movie is a kind of a Love story slash person fighting for their own rights. Really decent part. And I like that the love story isn't hindered on like certain Canadian war movies like Passchendaele. But then once it gets to Okinawa, that hard R appears. For us Canadians, there's only three ratings. There's the PG, there's 14A, and there's 18A. 18A only happens if it's a stupid ass gory movie like Hostel or there's nudity in it like Hostel. 14A is what this movie was rated while you Americans had R. It. Boy, does it show. Wow, Mel, I haven't. You did. I thought you did gory stuff in Braveheart. You go all the way in this one, man. People are. Body parts are flying, rotting, corpses, people on fire, parts blowing up. My jaw hit the floor the instant the battle started. And all the while, through all that hell, we see Desmond Dawes going through all of his. going about his medical duties, bringing people back to the line. And then it's after the Japanese counterattack is that we see what made Desmond Dawes a hero and what made him the recipient of the Medal of Honor. This guy went through absolute, he stuck up on this ridge by himself and collected these people, soldiers who were wounded, both on his side and the Japanese side. And what we see is this guy who's literally pushing himself because of his beliefs. And while this film may be a little bit preachy to some, I can understand that, it's more so of what guided him. And that's what his, his faith is what pushed him to save these men. And Andrew Garfield does a fantastic job with this character. I actually really think that this shows his acting skill. Sam Worthington's all right. Vince Vaughn, you know what? Post True Detective Season 2 Vince Vaughn I like. Pre Vince, pre <laughs> Trade Detective Season 2 Vince Vaughn, I hate. I hate his comedy stuff, but he's proven himself. I don't know, he was funny in this. And so that's what I think he should do. He's like, he should do serious comedies or serious comedic roles, but still have an edge to them. If I had any complaints with this film, there's a scene where a Japanese leader does uh, Suboku, which I thought was totally unnecessary and super over dramatic and also no one ever reloaded that was the one thing this film did show the brutality in a very thematic sense but the funny thing was I, I swear I never saw anyone ever reload a clip ever Vince Vaughn's gun never runs out of ammo but otherwise this film is still pretty well done the cinematography is very exceptional the battle scenes remind me back of days like Saving Private Ryan with practical effects. The stuntmen who caught on fire, there's a lot of them in that film. I give a huge credit for those guys, that's a dangerous fucking stunt to do. Andrew Garfield's great. Mel Gibson, you know what? I understand why they didn't put your name on the poster. As you would see, it says from the director of Passion of the Christ and Braveheart. 
He's still got a little bit of that bad mark on him because of the whole racist thing, but you know what? I can't deny that he's a very good d director, and he did a fantastic job with this film. I applaud him, I applaud Andrew Garfield, and the film itself. It's a very entertaining film. I've seen it twice, and I still enjoyed it just as much the second time. I'm going to give Hacksaw Ridge a 6 out of 7. It's an exceptional film. There's a few things that kind of nicked me that got me away from a perfect rating. But honestly, this is a really decent film. I think the characters were really well done. The battle scenes are fantastic. And the overall message of what it is is that you should stay true to what you believe. As long as it doesn't affect other people, this is a conversation that could go on for ages. But what he does, he keeps to it, and he saved 75 lives because of it. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Hope you like this review. I'll see you guys later.